Three, two, one. Okay. <coughs> Three, two, one, go. Even for. I'm Anne Lane, and I'm involved in lots of voluntary activities around that boy. When I see the value of something, I'm more than happy to talk about it. So that's why I give my time, and I'm happy to go out and canvas for David, because I see the work he does, and I can see the impact and the value of that here in that boy and beyond. And I see that in the support that he organises and helps. You know, he helps sporting clubs and groups. He focuses on our amenities and our services. And he's there to provide support to individuals and to businesses. So that's why I'm happy to go out and canvas for David. Hi, I'm Breda Heslin. I live in Athboy and have known David for a long time and, and his family. And why I support David canvassing is because I believe what he does is out of a concern and an interest for his community, his electoral area, and anything that he can do for somebody, he will do his best to do it, and it's for, for the people, not for himself, not for any um, recognition, and I like, I like that about him. I'm John Lane. I would never have regarded myself as being particularly political. So, why have I spent my evenings over the last number of weeks canvassing for David? Small towns like Atboy and its surrounding areas can easily be forgotten about at municipal district and county council level. David is independent of all political parties and philosophies. His objective is to represent uh, the people and the people of at, the people and communities of Atboy and its surrounding districts. I'm Jerry Cook. I, I've been involved in the local community of Atboy and the surrounding areas for a number of years. I've been involved in a lot of the uh, community projects uh, at various levels around the town and I suppose I've seen the importance of communities to, for, uh, for the benefit of a town and a benefit for those that live, a, that live in a particular town or surrounding areas. I'm Colin Brown, resident of Atboy for about 27 years. Uh, delighted to be part of this campaign again this year. Uh, we've learnt over the last 10 years or so the importance of having our local councillor here in the area available to us uh, for a whole range of reasons and uh, not just uh, funding which is obviously very very important but it just means that there's somebody on the ground uh, available then to contact so that you get contacts with the council you can find out how to get to them how to circumvent all the red tape that people worry about an awful lot and you can then um, use that councillor then as a way to meet the actual staff in the council which actually who actually make the decisions uh, on which then uh, these area improvements are made. We're very lucky that uh, the council are very agreeable and amenable to uh, getting involved with several different projects to assist either whether it's small local local communities or local groups or people involved in various activities around the town and I think having a link to those groups and those people with the, with the local authority is hugely beneficial to anything uh, and I suppose we have been lucky in the area to have David Gilroy representing the local community for the last 10 years. It comes through as the whole idea of tourism given our position here in the Vine Valley and David has worked hard down through the years and not just in terms of the Vine Valley Trail but also in terms of bringing the Halloween festival to the town and also then the economic development of the Gaeltock areas. Uh, community involvement is huge uh, to get people involved, to get make people welcome into a town and the amount of facilities and the use of resources that are needed in a town are hugely important uh, to try and develop uh, towns or rural areas. I suppose the reason I've got involved in the campaign to for David Gilroy as an independent local councillor is that I see the value of having an independent voice uh, locally to promote and assist in what local communities are doing. I've been very lucky to have been involved in a lot of projects that have been very beneficial uh, to the town and to the people of the town and I've seen at first hand how important it is to have a link with the council. We're very the countryside sometimes 
feel maybe they're they're not as ex they don't have the accessibility to people in in the county council, and so by canvassing, they see the face, and it is worthwhile to to go to people's homes. Um, it mightn't be suitable for everybody to answer the door in the evenings, but a lot of people like it to be remembered. Um, things like potholes in the street on the, on the roads. I know myself from visiting my mum who lives two miles up the road that it's very important to be able to address somebody, to put a name to a face and say, look, the road is a disgrace and it's frightening to be driving on it, especially at night. Um, just for someone to raise the subject. David can't produce miracles, but he can work to try and get things done. So that's why I support him.